Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 22. Let's go ahead and spend this one skill point before we get started here. I'm going to throw that into Robotics Inventor level 3 because eventually we want to max this out so we can use two uh, turrets at the same time. As you can see, I did a little bit of work to this pit last night and we're going to do a little bit of work to it this morning so we can try and get this thing up and running before night 25 when of course we'll be fighting another horde and then we are headed out to the desert today we're gonna to go see trader jen first and then head north to see trader rick we are looking for steel knuckle parts we only need one to craft these knuckles we also need steel though we have 11 pieces we need 25 to craft the steel knuckles so that's what we're on the lookout for today knuckle parts and steel uh, so like I said we're gonna go see Jen we're gonna go see Rick and we'll probably do some looting in their towns as well and then depending on what time we get home maybe we'll go see Trader Joel this evening otherwise we can always go see him tomorrow Okay, we're four blocks deep. Now we gotta put in the floor. All right, looking good. Now we need to build this column up here until it's the same level as the platform. That's good. Now we need to finish putting in the ladder, upgrade it to at least iron, put in the bars, the hatch, and the roof, which will probably connect to that roof right there. Matter of fact, we could connect both of these platforms to each other. I don't see what the big deal would be. I mean, they're connected already by the rooftop, you know? So we might as well put a little connecting bridge right there. I mean, do we need it? Not really, we can easily make that jump, so let me think about that, but anyway, I'm going to drop some supplies off and we're going to hit the road. I can't pass up on rotten flesh. This shit screwed my mind up. When I'm playing lockdown now and I spot rotten flesh in the road, the farmer in me wants to stop and grab it, but then I remember I'm not farming in this series. But I'll tell you what, farming, even though it's a bit of a pain in the ass and a bit of an inconvenience at first, once you have that shit up and running, it's so convenient. I mean, is it as easy and convenient as hunting? Probably not. Get out of my way, lady. You too, buddy. Ah, oh, see, he listened. Um, because, honestly, when you're out and about, there's always rabbits or chickens or a wolf or a bear or a deer. There's always something to kill, and the meat does keep you fed longer. But I don't know. I can totally see the reasoning behind starting a farm, because then you literally just never have to worry about food. You just harvest your food at night, cook whatever you want to bring with you the next day, and you're good to go. What the hell? Did I kill this bird and never harvest it? Oh, shit. Things are flying out of my pockets here. Let me put something in the bike. So, am I a changed man that's going to start growing a farm now in every series moving forward? Probably not. I think a farm is overkill. Maybe a small little garden. Because I do think the ideal way to eat in this game, and in life to be frank, is a mixture of both meat and vegetables. Get out of my damn way. Speaking of farming, I used all my nitrate powder last night making more farm plots, and uh, we want to keep the farm growing, plus we can use it for gunpowder as well, so might as well mine a little bit of this stuff. Ah, sugar butts, look at that. Rockbusters and eye candy. 
Nice. Three best candies in the game. Let's go ahead and eat the sugar buck candy now, actually. Since we got a whole bunch of stuff to sell. What up, Jen? If you were here to oh, buy, yes, that is butt on I've my breath. I didn't know you liked eating butt, list. Jen. I totally would have shared it with you. Well, I grabbed everything out of the crate, including these mods. I don't want to sell them alone, so I'll just hold on to them for now. I did grab Grandpa's awesome sauce as well, which gives you better bartering, but we didn't need it because we found the sugar butt candy. Now, what else you got here? Gunpowder. Shotgun shells. Bullet tips. Ah, steel. We need 25 pieces to craft the knuckles. I know I said I have 11 back at home, but I don't feel like mathing right now. Plus, fuck it, we'll just buy the 25. That'll leave us 11 pieces left over after we craft the knuckles. This is all my shit. 762. And uh, I guess that's it. Alrighty then. All right. Stay safe. Let's out just there. go right to Rick's place. Now, oh, look at what we have here in the middle of the desert U.S. Fire Post 69. U.S. government POI? Let's do it. You never know what they're hiding. Pumpkin seed? I guess I'll take it. And actually make use of that thing. Get the fuck out of here, bird. Clear. Hey, I'll have some water. Can't search the desk. I guess I'll take this chair. Scrap it for the leather. A little bit of food out of that truck. We can eat the pears. Scrap the ravioli, though. Engine. Nice. I'm not going to bother taking apart that workbench or the military truck right now. Repair kit. Let's actually repair our steel pickaxe. Some dogs here. Got to be careful. Let's chop these bodies up. We'll get a little rotten flesh and nitrate powder. Nothing in there. Let's check around the back of the building. I got some food right here. Coffee. And I'll take that yucca juice. There we go. Let's close that door in case the dogs decide to wake up. Nerdy glasses. Sell those. Plastic parts. Splint. Do we really need a splint? No. Watch, now I'll fall off that tower and break my leg. And if I do, we come back here. Get a splint. Alright, let's move. Should we deal with the dogs now? Probably not. Let's, uh... Let's do this building first. Yeah, wake up. Oh, hey, lady. Oh, look at me bobbing and weaving. In case you forgot, I did set zombies to run in this series, which isn't so bad. It's two speeds faster than run, sprint, and nightmare. Look at this, a brawler book. Brawling attacks are 20% faster and increased movement speed by 10%. Now we can kick even more ass. Those chairs we can scrap for iron. Let's do that. Get up this ladder. That door's locked. Some trash here, with nothing in it, and another ladder. I was expecting a bird up here. Scrap and take. I don't know why I scrapped that sledge. We don't really need the stone right now. I can't see the dogs from up here. Maybe we can from down here, though. Nope. Stop down. We can always get back up there. Yeah, there's a dog. This roof is at such a slant. We could run right back up there if we need to. Hey, a couple of spears. Should we try and spear this dog? That could be fun. Think I could hit it from here? Or should I try and get... Uh, oh, shit. Never mind. Back on the roof. Can you get up here, dog? Oh, 
Yes, he can. And I have no fucking ammo because I put it in the motorcycle. Yeah, bitch. Look at that. Thank God for the spear. Where's the other one? Uh, I think it's at the door of this place. Here we go. Spear in the ass. How do you like that? Um... Yeah, I dropped the ammo off in the motorcycle again. That is the mistake I make all the time. Every episode, I drop my ammo off in the motorcycle. It's because of those those buttons, those quick drop buttons. If I have any shotgun ammo in the bike, it just automatically drops all of my ammo in the bike. And uh, I'm too stupid to realize it. Look at that. Spears are the MVP. Start using them again. Locked. Oh, it's a good thing I have a key. It's a universal key. It opens all locks. It's called brute force. Okay. Um, nothing in here, really. Oh, wait. Yep, there's a weapons bag up here. Come on. Got it. Not bad. I don't think there's anything else up there. Let's just keep it moving. Bathroom's clear. Murky water. I'm good on that stuff. Nothing in the washing machine. I'm sure there are more zombies in this room ahead. Let's just search the kitchen area first. Got him. There's another one. Throw oh, right through the table. Is that it? I think that's it. Grab these arrows. Oh, nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, lady. It scared me. She must have been up there, I guess. Um, this is the way to go. Up here, I believe. Yep, this will get us uh, onto that tower. But before we do that, let's grab the cobblestone here. And let's just check the ceiling. I don't think there's anything else up there. But, be nice to know for sure. Nope. Okay. Let's go. Seven, six, two in the purse. I love, I love the idea of that. Some chick like, let me make sure I have my lipstick and my feminine products and my... AK-47 ammo before we leave. I know they're up in the ceiling. Is that not the plug? Here we go. I knew it. Bing. Oh, shit. I didn't know he got out so fast. I, I wouldn't have reloaded. Watch out. There are spikes there. Oh, I told you. Gotta be careful. Oh, that guy. That guy died on the spikes. All right. Can we make this jump here? Okay. Main stash. Man, I feel like we've fucking been here all day. Hour 16. We still haven't even made it to Rick's yet. Check his vending machine first. Two things of eye candy, and my coin is in the motorcycle. There we go. Let's grab that eye candy. And uh, that's it. All right, let's see if Rick's got some steel knuckle parts. What up, Take Rick? 
Gum powder. AP762. I'm going to skip the magnum ammo. Bullet tips. AP 9mm. I probably should check for the knuckle parts before we spend all of our money, but whatever. We'll be good. We got a decent amount of coins still. Rocket frags. Just one. I'll take it. Buckshot. Let's check a stash. Shotgun shells. And no. No knuckle parts. So I'll buy these shells. And, uh... Nah. I guess I'll I'm good. Now. Let me just take a quick look at his jobs. He's got a close buried supplies, but I don't feel like doing that. I'd rather try and squeeze in one more raid. We got a better chance of finding knuckle parts that way. Uh, how about this place right across the street? That's convenient. Plus, uh, we got no time to waste here, so let's just do it. This is the way in. Up this little ladder, or whatever you want to call it. And in through the window. Close that door. Open that door. Hey, lady. Uh oh, both rounds went off again. With one pull of the trigger, and I forgot my ammo in the motorcycle again. Twice in one episode. Do I win something for that? Is it like a dumbass award or something? Uh, wait, there's an open spot. Let's throw this engine in there. Okay, here we go. In through the window. We're going to pretend that first part never even happened. I guess I'll grab the cobblestone. We already have some in our inventory. Hey, Kenny. Come get some. Pow. Boom. Bop. Scrap the brass. I'm good on the plastic parts. And we might as well get more brass then. Take apart these radiators. Scrap that helmet. That helmet's gonna give me plastic parts, so I might as well go back and take the plastic parts I skipped then. Seven six two, and let's see if we can lock pick our way into this thing. Steel sledgehammer parts? Man, I can't wait to go back to the sledgehammer. After messing around with these knuckles, it's gonna feel like we're cheating. We'll do the sledgehammer with the backup spear. That's how I used to roll all the time. Oh, nice. Fuck off. Uh, sniper rifle schematic. Uh, yeah, I used to always roll sledgehammer, the spear as a backup. Because you can use the spear as like a ranged weapon, too, by throwing it. And it seems like a little bit of a waste of space, having two melee weapons in your inventory, but I don't think so. Saves ammo, because you can get some good sneak attack damage with the spear by throwing it, and then you finish him off with the sledge. Find more food and loot. All right, downstairs we go. Oh, hey, Sleepy Kenny. Bike chassis, which we already know. Scrap that nail. Good on the aloe. Check this desk. Two pairs of nerdy glasses. I'll take both of them. They sell for over 200 coin each. Nothing in there. Let's grab this radiator. Let's see if we can finish off this place before it transitions over tonight. Handlebar uh, schematic, we already know. And I know, like I said earlier, zombies are set to run, but they do get a little faster at night. They sprint at night. And I think I have it set for nightmare speed during the horde. Damn, both shells went off again with just one pull of the trigger. That's been happening to me a lot lately. It never used to happen in the past. I don't know uh, what's going on there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Ammo pile. Nice. Let's get some more brass. I think those zombies are outside. Got a closet right here. Clear. Oh! 
Fuck. Back. Ah. Oh my god, there's another one. Shit. I thought they were outside. And that's how quickly you can get fucked up in this game. Let's use a bandage. Um, we got an infection. And we have uh, a deep laceration on our hand. Which I need a sewing kit for. Uh, there are zombies outside. I guess those other ones were in the house. Shit. That's what usually gets me killed in this game. And I'm sure that's what gets the majority of people killed in this game. It's getting surprised. Or it's doing something a little half-assed. Like, you know, I should have checked where those zombies were before backing myself into a closet. And it's stupid mistakes like that. And then getting surprised, that can just end you really quick. Nothing. Oh, got a garage right here with a crate. Nothing in that trash. Nothing in that trash. Let's grab this cement and cobblestone and that crate. And then we've got a kitchen area and the basement. And I'm sure the basement is where the main stash is. A little bit of lead right there. We're at hour 20. We should probably just finish this POI as it's transitioning over tonight. And we'll head home and call it a day. We'll do some more work to the pit. Overnight tonight. A little game room down here. Some gunpowder. Oh! Checking my corners, you see? I learn. Sometimes. Can't close that door. Alright. Oh, I thought there was a zombie behind the bar. Guess not. Scrap those nails, take the lead. A little bit of goldenrod tea, and uh, let's eat some corn. Scrap that pipe. Uh, yeah, scrap that, take the cloth. That's just boxes. Hey, nurse. Dead. <laughs> Just keep coming. Dead. Uh, not dead. Now dead. Okay. Grab this cobblestone. See if we can find a sewing kit. Nope. shotted Kenny and here is the main stash still got some zombies making noise I think they're outside trying to break in though we'll worry about them as we're leaving oh yes the steel knuckle parts three of them we only need one we already got the steel today bam mission accomplished we'll be able to craft uh, level four steel knuckles tonight now, if we put another point into the brawler, we'll be able to craft level 5 knuckles, but... Well, oh, Trader, Trader Joel's is, is... Well, Trader Rick, actually, is closing soon. Um, here, let's let's use these repair kits real quick. Um, we'll repair this armor as well. But, but to, to put another point into brawler, we have to put two more levels into fortitude and we're at the point where each level costs two points so that means we'd have to wait five more skill points we'd have to accumulate five more skill points in order to uh get brawler to level four i believe so we can craft level five knuckles and then to craft level five knuckles we're going to need even more steel and even more knuckle parts so forget all that shit we'll just craft the level four steel knuckles tonight and by the time we get Brawler maxed out, we probably will have already found level 6 Steel Knuckles. Uh, 
All right, let's pop these hatches up. And what else do we need to craft the knuckles? We need the parts, the steel, leather, and duct tape. Leather, duct tape, and we have the steel. Like I said earlier, 11 pieces still in storage, so we're not using all of our steel here. Bam, rest of the knuckle parts, and boom, steel knuckles. Got to get all this stuff put away and organized. Let's get some more concrete moving. I made some sand earlier, which should be in the machines here. Bam, and bam. How much concrete mix can we make? Almost 800, so let's do 400 in here, and the rest in here. Okay, now we just got to get this uh, inventory put away and organized. Do a little bit of work on the base, and we'll be looking good. Let's use a sewing kit here for the laceration, and we got to get rid of this infection as well. Boom. Looking good. All right. Like I said, let me get this inventory put away and organized. I'm going to get some work done to the pit, and we'll pick things up on the morning of day 23. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and the finale of Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.